The city of Pikeville will soon see some major upgrades following the $150 million community project funding announced by Senator Hal Rogers. Pikeville Police Department will receive nearly $4 million to build a new headquarters with many much needed improvements. This includes additional space for officers and evidence and other resources. Uh, just very exciting news. Uh, I mean, we realize it's not a not a final thing, but and there's still hurdles to cross, but just uh, just the expectation of thinking that, you know, we may finally get to build us a new police station and something that I think would well serve our department, members of the department, but also probably better serve the community. We're, we're just real excited about it. I mean, we love our little department, uh, but that is kind of what it is. It, it's, it's sort of small and it was built 31 years ago in, in 93 for a department probably about half the size is what we're operating now. Uh, we, you know, we can make it work, but we think we'd be more efficient and, and probably could do our jobs a little bit better and probably give us even greater potential to, to work out of a, a newer, maybe better sized department. The Pike County Health Department invites you to come see them for your back to school and sports physicals, as well as vaccines. We are the vaccine experts. So for your back to school physicals, sports physicals, or vaccines, visit the Pike County Health Department today. Another $6 million will go towards a new industrial building at the Pikeville Industrial Park. This will create up to 100 new jobs in the region. What we hope to do is add um, additional, what I would call clean manufacturing, uh, up to the park. And um, with the plans that we have, uh, hopefully to do this building, this pad and this building, and an additional pad and building, well, we'd like to add another 100 jobs up there in the next next few months, next few years, probably months would be a little quick, but uh, we're very optimistic that we can uh, land a couple of companies to come up there, but we have to be ready. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.